Might as well just talk hockey, Coach. Um, this past weekend at Lake Superior, obviously not what you guys wanted. Two goals between two games. Just kind of what happened with that series? Um, Lake Superior's played well defensively. Uh, we'll start there. Um, we had opportunities uh, on the power play that we didn't execute, so we were the power play's been fighting it a little bit, although we did score one power play goal, which was good. Uh, we scored the first goal each night, which was good, and, and you hope that scoring first you know, gives you some momentum to score again. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Um, a little bit of a little bit of what we've been going through the last month or so. Uh, you know, a, a, a penalty here, a, a missed opportunity here, a, a turnover there. Uh, just just little things that that ultimately add up to a big thing. Um, going look looking at Friday. It's a 5-1 game. A lot of things kind of unraveled after you scored that first goal. Was it just about their defense? Was it a lack of you guys doing, you know, just not living up to the game plan? What, how would you break yeah, that? I mean, Friday? we went back after the game and watched that game right away after that night and, and, and watched the first two periods be, because by the time the third period rolls around, it's, 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 we, we got a lot of catching up to do. And, and we, just, we just saw some, again, a, a little mistake that, that ended up in, in a, in a been a big mistake and uh, you know it wasn't like we were getting outshot 40 to 10 or anything like that we were it was a it was a regular college hockey game and uh, we, we just felt like we we needed to get some stuff going and we weren't able to I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say we played our best by any stretch um, we were we were not as competitive as we want to be um, and we had some some defensive lapses that you know some of our younger guys happen to be involved in and, and that, that's going to happen uh, so defensively we weren't as good as we needed to be on friday uh that that would probably be the, the big the glaring thing would be that that the, we just didn't defend as well as we need to defend the old adage is the playoffs starts a new season effectively new mindsets new new opponents obviously with bemidji now you get to refocus on them what's the message to the guys this week in practice We've searched and talked about what we should, you know, we, we gave them Monday off just because at this time of the year, everybody's a little banged up. Everybody's a little tired uh, mentally and physically. So we gave them Monday off. And, and, you know, as coaches, obviously, we talked on Sunday. We talked Monday. Uh, you know, the message is, is that we, we still believe in this team. Um, yes, it is cliche. And, yes, everybody's zero and zero and everybody's starting over. And, and you hope that, that that's the – the feeling in the room, uh, I don't believe our guys have quit. Uh, we believe our guys are going to be excited to play on Friday. Uh, just like Bemidji believes their guys are going to be excited to play. Uh, we're playing a team in Bemidji that we've played four times, uh, two at home, two on the road. We've won one in each building, and they've won one in each building. So it's a, it's an opponent we're familiar with. It's an opponent that, that uh, we've had some good games against this year. Uh, it, it, there won't be any secrets. It's just you're going to have to execute. And, and, and all those little things, if you want to be successful and win this series, you're going to have to do a better job with those little things. Mm -hmm. you, you brought it up there with the opponent and how evenly split it was throughout the course of the season. I know home ice was the goal. It's not there, but I think in terms of a matchup, this is one that you guys are pretty evenly out on. Yeah, it's, it's – uh, again, we've – with the exception of Minnesota State, uh, you know, they, we played them four times and, and we weren't able to, to get any points against them. Um, we've played good games against, uh, and we had a good game on Saturday against them here. We played well enough to win. Um, but, but you're right, in, in Bemidji, it's, a, it's, a, it's an even series in terms of the numbers. And not that the numbers in the regular season mean anything now, because we're different teams. You know, when we played them, I think that was our first conference series in October. That was a long time ago. And then we played them here. Uh, later in the year so a lot of things have changed and ultimately at the end of the day what what we want to accomplish and how we want to play has not changed uh, we just need to do a better job of, of of playing the way we were built and playing the way we need to play and and valuing the things we need to value and, and having better discipline all that kind of stuff is, is important how much does that preparation for a team that you've seen now four times effectively how's that change or does it change going into a playoff series into that kind of setting I don't know if it changes. I think right now both teams have a really good idea of who they are, right? And and you know, in the beginning of the year we were we had a bunch of new faces in our lineup, and and they had a bunch of returning guys, and they have a new goalie, and and now ultimately we have a new goalie. So there was there's some of that, but 
you know, they know who they are. They know the guys that they want to lean on. They know uh, which guys are going out in certain situations, just like we do, you know. So um, we're, we're familiar with each, with each other. They, they played last weekend at home. We played last weekend on the road. So we'll go up there. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long trip, but it's a good trip in, in terms of it's, the hotels are really nice. They're, they're really close to the rink. The rink is really nice. The locker room space is really nice. So our guys will be comfortable in that setting. And uh, we know what, what we need to do to, to have success. And, and, and Bemidji feels the same way. So it's, it's going to be, uh, it, it's, it should be a, a very competitive series. How do you turn familiarity like that into an advantage? You guys. Uh, I just think our, our guys, there's no more unknown, right? Uh, with with all the new players we had, there there were a bunch of guys that first series up at Bemidji that had never been to Bemidji, had never played Bemidji, didn't know what Bemidji was. Now at least our guys have played them and they understand it. So I would think that's that's certainly something different than the first time we went up there. Uh, and, and then and then again, we we should be confident in knowing that when we do the things we're supposed to do and, and play the way we're supposed to play, we can have success. Does playing three games versus playing two games in a row affect any kind of preparation? You know, it might affect you a little bit as the road team. You know, obviously this is, it's a 14 plus hour bus ride. We're actually going to fly. So um, it's just not possible to bring a lot of extra bodies. It just doesn't make sense. Um, we'll bring three or four extra players because exactly what you said. If you get into a th three games in three days, that's a lot of hockey for a lot of people. And if you're at home, you have access to more bodies, right? If you wanted to flip out six guys for the third game because you got some guys that are really tired, you could do that. Uh, whether or not that happens, who knows? Um, so I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Anything on the Zoom, Peter? Yes. Um, is there any further discipline that Sam Craig's from the league for his penalty the other night? No, they they uh, they talked to us about that uh, on Saturday morning, Peter. And and, and again, it you, you've seen us play enough. It's 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 one of those things. I don't think any coach that I know uh, in, in our league, especially the guys in our league, I don't think anybody wants to to see guys put themselves in a situation where they get suspended. And un unfortunately, you know, Sam had to put himself in a situation where further discipline was was possible ultimately the league after reviewing it chose not to and and and, and unfortunately and, and lake superior had a player who put himself in that same situation and ultimately did get suspended so it's at this time of the year you, you hate to see those things creep up um, but but sam is is uh, as far as the league goes he's he's in good standing yeah okay i mean i can see how he is provoked nothing worse than getting a stick in the back of the legs like that yeah it, you know it's whether you whether it's you know um stick penalties or things like that. There's, there's give and take, and usually there, there's, there's, uh, uh, it takes two to tango, as they say, and, and usually uh, something leads up to those kinds of situations, and, and unfortunately, uh, you know, in that situation, Sam, Sam could have made a better decision, uh, and hopefully this weekend he does.